So here I am back with another Long John Silver's weird, bad, funny reviews video. Uh, this time I'm moving, switching coasts, going from the Pacific to the Atlantic. Uh, West Coast, best coast. But, so we're going to do. There's a couple of locations in New Hampshire, and they. New Hampshire was a gold mine in terms of reviews. Especially, we're just going to. We want to start out with Salem, New Hampshire. One star, extremely disappointed. Our based family pack with eight pieces of chicken, and it came with a small amount of hush puppies, an extremely small side of coleslaw. I asked what happened to the family size side orders, and there was, and there was, and there was no response. I was twenty six dollars back of nothing. I have the pictures to share if you are interested. Okay, so I guess you have to email her. To find the pictures, or she's talking to Long John Silver's themselves. Oh well. I stopped here twice in the past two weeks. The first time they were out of fish. The second time they had no seafood at all. Mighty poor planning on somebody's part. Looking at the bright side, I did save some money and avoid a lot of calories. I think this is also like a Taco Bell combination, and I now realize that due to the fact that since some of them, some of them are Long John Silver's and like other lo restaurant locations, sometimes you gotta click on the other restaurant to find more reviews. For Long John Silver's, because they said they open at eleven. I ordered, and they told me to wait a few minutes. Came back at eleven o five. They let me order, and then told me, as I was pulling up to pay, that I could come back at twelve o'clock. Who owns this place? Get it together. Never going back. If you push your finger down on the fish, then it will reveal a cacophony of grease. I don't think this person knows what cacophony means, because it cacophony means a series of a bunch of bad sounds and noises. Uh, so unless it's just so it's just creating like a Big, like, <laughs> so it makes a sound of grease. The fish is frozen, and when the fish is bitten into, you get a mouthful of buttery disgustingness. The fish tastes rotten, is all around gross. No wonder fast food gets a bad rap with disgusting garbage like this. The seafood is horrible. I don't even think it's seafood. I got a refund and ended up ordering Taco Bell. I was very disappointed considering I drove all the way from Leominster since this is Salem, New Hampshire location, is close. Since this Salem, New Hampshire location is close to me, I do give Nicole the manager a five star. She was really nice. Ah, oh, thank you for including that. That's so, so useful information. That is a correct, proper sentence. So useful. This long john sucks. If they ever get your order right, it would be a miracle. I told them no fries with my order. Get home and there is fries, but no slaw. The slaw is my main reason for going. That's a really sad reason to go to Long John Silver's. I got the variety platter and gave me diarrhea all night. Awful. Right, fair enough. The fish was awful and the fries were burnt. Ew. Never again. I used to love LJS and came here regularly even though it was well out of the way. But this last visit was not was just awful. The food was terrible, hard, and burnt. Not that special, distinctive LJS batter. They did spruce up the place with flowers on the tables and quite clean the food had quite clean, but the food had suffered. I'm not sure I would go again unless to give them another chance in case they were just having a bad day. I'd go again maybe, you know. Two stars. Greasy. Three stars. I love LGS, but the two times I've been fortunate enough to visit this location have been fraught with this difficulty. Coupons were discussed in detail, but ultimately accepted. It was awkward, but the staff were super friendly and nice. Twice again, I was served cold or reheated food. Again, the staff was very understanding and redid it. Maybe it's because there's a Taco Bell attached and most traffic is for that. Three stars. Different have not ate Long John's in years. Okay. I don't know what that means, but you know what? Five stars. This play, this Long John's is the cleanest, please, and very good service. Five stars. The best around. Five stars. Yas. I mean, if that doesn't sum it up, I don't know what will. All right, next up is the capital of New Hampshire, Concord. One star. If I could rate this star a zero, I would. This was one of the worst meals I have had for eating out. To start off, the price was very high for takeout. The tables were dirty, all, all dirty, and the food itself was awful. Cold fries. The fish was all batter, not at all like the commercials on TV, on TV show. It was very disappointing, and I will never go back again. <laughs> okay, that's your fault for thinking that the food would look like a TV commercial. Like, come on. One star. Definitely not what I was expecting. A fish fillet that was hard to chew? I don't know. You tell us. One star. Filthy. No adult supervision and I didn't get any part of my order. We'll never go back. What does it mean no adult supervision? Like, 
I'm just so confused what this means. I think it's like, is it just all teenagers and that's what you mean? Is just no adult supervision? What, what does it mean? Was there just some kids running around? One star. Nasty, yucky batter, old seafood. <laughs> yucky. One star. The worst food ever. Everything tasted the same gross. I would have not given a star if I had a choice. I love, I love how people just lose the ability to speak, to write English in these reviews. One star. Food was overcooked and dry. They didn't have everything you ordered. Two stars. Way too salty, and I love my sodium. Two stars. They shut down too early, good over fried. Okay, yeah, I did read that correctly. They shut down too early, good over fried. Put some punctuation in there, man. Two stars. Okay, food only okay. A nice for quick bite. <laughs> a nice. Anais. Is that Anais? Anais? Anais for quick bite, four stars. Uh, I guess nice. Five stars. Surprised by the tenderness of these shrimp. Who knew for fast food very good. Server, young male. Okay, dude. Very patient while I was trying to place order. D did it matter that they're a young male? I guess it did. Alright, next up is uh, going a little bit first south. The only location in Massachusetts, which is in Rock West Roxbury, which is... In general, I like the Taco Bell chain. Decent food, good dollar value. Menu different from the usual burger chain. Taco Bell made it... Make an above average chain of pace for grab and go food during my busy days. However, this location greatly suffers from poor management. There's often broken bottles and assorted trash in the parking area. I have never seen an employee out... Sent out to sweep or even tidy up the lot. The drive th Wait. Has anyone ever actually seen an employee sent out to sweep up the lot? Has anyone ever seen that ever? I, cause I haven't. The drive through and order online services are painfully slow and often inaccurate. It is not uncommon for people to wait 20 minutes after an order is placed for seafood. Inside the dining area is kept reasonably neat. The cashiers are usually tidy and polite and reasonably accurate. The food prep area is always a mess. Trash on the floors, greasy looking floors, unkempt or improperly dressed employees. I can't decide if the food prep area looks more like a waiting room, a methadone clinic, or a PSA on the dangers of hepatitis. The basic message is okay. All right. I read that Karen's essay on this Long John Silver's could just say it was bad, needs new management. Uh, first ever person to read that, probably. Uh, you're welcome. Five stars. Moms loves tacos, and I love Long John Silver. Very tasty, both. The hybrid Taco Bell and Long John Silver. Awful, awful to the millionth power. My first and last time I will order Long John. They got 80% of the ore round wrong, and I found hair in my food. Don't go to the drive-thru, and they only had four staff on shift during a busy lunch rush. Throw the whole thing away. Three stars. Long John Silver's closes at nine. That's not really a view. That's just a fact, I guess. Next up's Connecticut. Now, Connecticut... There's a couple locations on Hartford and one Plainville. Hartford is a lot briefer than they were in uh, our states. Like, this is probably the longest one, one of the longer ones. The food I purchased today was so disappointing and unsatisfying. It's extremely greasy and salty. It was evident that the grease wasn't any good because the food had an old aftertaste. Plus, the restaurant was completely filthy. SMSE! SMH! I won't be returning. I'll to, you put a space between your, your punctuation. Jeez. Also, not the only one that did that. They never gave me what I ordered. Two different times I went there with orders to go. They cheated me both times. M one star. Most stupid hour ever. 9 p.m. on a Friday. You can't get any food. Dude, I hate 9 p.m. on a Friday. That is the most stupid hour ever. One star. No good. There's so many reviews here. They're just... One star. Terrible. Greasy. It made me sick. They're just brief. They get to the point. One star. It was disgusting! One star. Never got food. Although they say it's open until 11, the Long John Silver's stopped serving at 9 p.m. Fix your website. It's 2017. One star. Nasty place. Two stars. Ordered a fish and fry and six hush puppies. Got a box and, a f and fry and a bunch of shrimp all in the same box. When I told them that they put half the hush pu half the hush puppies I ordered in the box, didn't take out the shrimp, and complained the other workers weren't working hard enough. I don't, I don't really know what this, this is saying. May I, but no. Two stars. Not good. More topping than fish. Two stars. It's not place of choice. Food is too grease. Is too greasy. People are still really bad at using two. Two stars. They employees slow as hell. One star. It's okay. Three star. Take too long to serving. Three. Four stars. 
for yummy crew. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Maybe I don't want to know. Four stars. Amen, amen. Long John Silvery has good food. Four stars. The service was great. I like the people who took care of my odor. Five stars. Love this place. The beautiful young ladies working there make it a pleasure going back. Uh, can I get a... Can I get a yikes on that? Because yikes. Hungry as usual. Five star. I... What? Are you... Okay. Alright. Plainville. They're not quite as brief, but... I also like how there's five stars and one stars. And then, like, you hate this or you love this place. One star, horrible place. Staff was rude and menu was tiny. I understand they say the location with Taco Bell, but more than four items should be available. Did I mention this stuff was rude? You didn't mention the stuff was rude yet, I don't think. You mentioned the staff, not the stuff. One star, I was ripped off, never ever got all the chicken I ordered. Ten fries in a box and some was fish. Some of the fries were fish? I tried calling no answer. Zero stars. You gave it one. Too, too bad the old Long John's... Long John's Silver. <laughs> oh, I've done that before where I say Long John's Silver. Also, it's, it, every word should be capitalized in Long John Silver's. Like, I, I've noticed that people capitalize random words. Mostly John's, but... Like, they, they capitalize none of it or all of it. Come on. The old, too bad, too bad the old Long John's Silver was so much better and nicer. I will not go back there and tell everyone how I was treated. Okay, you could have just not add a sentence. Worst in the world and sad thing is I go there twice a month and order a lot of food. Awful, I was embarrassed to have brought my mom there. Food was cold and sloppily put on platter. There was more platter than food. Yes, usually plates are bigger than the food. There's more surface area of plate than food that's kind of how plates work but not what i ordered according to the photo of the cod and shrimp platter never ever again one big mistake tables and booths were also dirty leftover crumbs from previous patrons doesn't deserve even one star one star the food here is absolutely awful it seemed as though it had been cooked ahead of time in the fryer and then dropped back in again prior to serving the manage was kind enough to refund my money really disgusting I love it when the manager refunds my money. Food was edible. No need to go in much more details. Other than I will not be returning to this location. Terrible! I'd give a zero if it was an op if it was an option. No shrimp whatsoever. When asked the cashier to change one order to individual rather than combo, he rolled his eyes. Why would someone eating in want two sodas, one LG, and one medium? What? Was told our order was going to be held up for a fresh batch of fries. Fries were cold and nasty as they were sitting there. Fish was rubbery as if it was microwaved. Floors and tables were sticky. Wondered if washed both with same clean cleaner. Poor experience all around. One star was a bit excited to go and was disappointed. Worst customer service ever. I'm sure we weren't aren't the only ones to leave without ordering and go to Wendy's. One star. Too long wait. All right. Rapid burst of one stars. It was bad. Never again. Did not have what I was looking for. Okay, you two. One star. The bathrooms in the establishment are horrible. They lack cleanliness. Two stars. Not a fresh taste. Fries were awful. Two stars. Food was cold. Took a long time to get food. All cocktail sauce cups were filled with salsa. Because <laughs> it's, it's definitely a talk about Long John Silver's because most of these are. But that's so funny. That's just... <laughs> Workers were not acting politely. Not even a smile. Visit September 20th. Okay, Karen. They maybe there wasn't a smile because they're working at a Long John Silver's Taco Bell. Like I, I and that's how I don't get. Like people are like expect servers and like food staff to be like super friendly and outgoing and like make conversation with you. I'm like, do they take my order and get it correct? Then they did the, their job. They, that's their job is to take my order charge me the correct amount and uh, that's it two stars this is an express unit and does not have what is advertised two stars i came here specifically because the menu said grilled fish i am a diabetic and cannot eat the breading we came here from prospect because it said they had it they told me they don't carry it and i showed her the menus online for this store <laughs> online nice two words uh, and she said sorry don't carry it
Okay, not greatest. Bathroom stunk to high hell. Three stars. Four stars. I took mad sauce packets there. They're all like, no problem, bro. You do you. Five stars. I make g I like the staff there. Very cool people and friendly. Plus food, it is tied between them and Sonic for best fast food around. Yikes. Sonic isn't that good either. But for sea- Wait, what? What is this? But for seafood, LJS is bomb. Fried shrimp and hush puppies are unbelievably delicious. Five stars. Slow service. Fish full of oil. <laughs> Five stars, though. Five stars. Nope, didn't go there. Good job, Google. Translated by Google. On. Original. Oh. Five stars. Oh, my. So, thank you for watching this vi long, long John Silver's video. Uh -huh. See you at dinner. Uh, yeah, subscribe for more of these. Subscribe for more bad Long John Silver's views. There's a Twitter and Instagram in the description. Uh, if I get a million subscribers by the end of the year, I'll tattoo something Ocean Man related on my body. As opposed to not on my body, like what would that even be?